Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Date in a Blink, where we're hosting Mel and Joe for a Blink date. What is Date in a Blink, you ask? It's a 10-minute, audio-only, blind-speed date experience. It's also a bit of a social experiment designed to move people beyond looks-based assumptions, curated profiles, and marathon messaging. We at The Blink Date want dating to be fun and inspiring for Blinkers and hope this podcast inspires you to try new ways of meeting people and dating. Will our hand-picked matches find love on these Blink Dates? Or will they say goodbye to each other after 10 minutes and never look back? If you're new here, we're so happy you could join us. If you're a regular, we're so glad you've returned. Before we jump into today's Blink Date, here's a quick word from our sponsors. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain a bit. It's totally free, and Anchor will distribute the podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and lots of other podcasting platforms. Not only that, but it has creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. It also lets you make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make your podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. We are here on Date in a Blink today with Joe and Mel. I'm going to let you two dive in, but in case it's helpful to get the conversation started, I'm going to leave you with this question. When you travel, do you prefer to plan the trip out in advance, or do you prefer to arrive and figure out what to do day to day? Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joe. Yeah, I'll let you... uh... Um, So I... I am like the worst person to travel with, according to my friends, because I don't like, I'm, I'm fine with planning before, but like not planning our entire trip. Like let's hit five or six things and then let the rest of the trip be what the rest of the trip's going to be. You may meet new people. You may want to see other things, but if you're like on this agenda, it's like, no, we have to wake up at six o'clock in the morning. I don't want to do that. I want to, this is vacation. <laughs> I want to wake up when I wake up. I want to eat breakfast, maybe have a mimosa, like whatever I decide to do and then say, okay, I guess we'll go see that thing at two o'clock in the afternoon. Or we may not like, let's keep it loose. I I just don't like to like plan a trip because I plan at work. I have to be structured at work. I don't want to do that on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of, um, I think I've, I'm like growing to learn to, to do that. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like very, not like a scheduler, but I like to kind of like have an idea on, on like what's going to happen kind of thing yeah. or, or, you know, I visited Italy years ago and it was like a childhood dream of mine to go to Italy and see all the ruins and all the, you know, old school Roman stuff. And so I was kind of like, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be here. So I, I need to see this and see this and see this, you know? Yep. And it was kind of exhausting. It was like an exhausting trip. It was like nine days of nonstop, like exactly. doing this and doing that. Yeah. And I didn't get to kind of just chill at like a cafe and just people watch. Yep. Which yep. I think is like the where best. I'm at. <laughs> yeah. Like, the best. like a people watching is so much fun. Me and my friends went to Paris one year and um, it was three of us. And one of my friends was sick. So she's like, oh, I'm not going to get up this morning and we said okay fine so we went to a cafe and did exactly that except where there were no people to watch and we were confused because we were up and we were like where are all the people and and the waiter was like people in paris don't get up early and i was (laughs) like (laughs) and we were like it's 8 30 like in the morning not like two you know six o'clock you're like no people won't start coming in here until maybe 11 we were like really he's like yeah y'all sit here and we'll show you and we got there and we saw like maybe, you know, a couple people trickling across the window and it was like 1045 and then like people kept started coming in and he kind of winked over at us like, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it was like we were up every day before Paris. It was like, this is weird. But they stayed up until 4 a.m. We didn't. Yeah, that's like they, they have that. I mean, Europeans in general just have a way more relaxed yeah. sense, I feel like. Americans are so stressed and so, you know, so stressed. You're so not used to it. Like, you know, the one cafe that I did just kind of like get to sit at in Rome and just like relax. Like, you know, we saw, I I think I saw like the waiter maybe once or twice. Yep. You know, like they just, 
and you know it's like we're so used to you know like kind of hurry up sit down and kind of leave type thing that wasn't used to them just literally like letting me be and like chill like and it was so weird. It was like parts of me were getting annoyed. I was like, where is this guy? But then I was, <laughs> I was, like, was kind of like, all right, I guess, I guess whatever. They don't, they don't want to like turn the table. It's fine. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. As you get a little older, you kind of uh, start appreciating more of just like slowing it down, you know? Yeah. No, slow, slowing it down is good. I think, I think COVID taught everyone to take, take a beat. You know, like just we're gonna slow you down a little bit and enjoy like it was awful um you know. like the one thing that i guess you reflected on like over this time like of um, kind of slowing down and like yeah it, it kind of solidified my i i don't like get lonely um so quick backstory i have an irish twin so me and my brother are 10 months apart oh, um, sweet. yeah and so i don't know life without him um, you know, from, from day one that I can remember, he was always there and always in my face. So I kind of cherished as a kid, those times were like, if I would be sick home and he had to go to school, it was like, I'm by myself. My mom's let me take a nap, you know, like it was quiet. Um, yeah, so I, didn't, I didn't grow up and, you know, Ninja Turtles was, were big, you know, you know, everything was three ninjas and karate chopping. So he was very, and I don't have any sisters. So it was like we did everything that he wanted to do. So boy stuff, boy stuff. Oh, yeah. um, so it was always loud. So I learned that I can be by myself and really enjoy that time. And I think it served me as an adult. But as I like got older, I thought, is this you being like a crazy person? Or are you like, because everyone else just seemed to get so lonely. And I'd be like, no, I'm fine by myself. Um, and, yeah. then, you know, and then COVID happened and I had to be alone. And it was like kind of solidified to me this is fine like you you can you can survive like you've been training for this your whole life because you like this for the most part you know you can still call people and facetime then you wanted interaction but I didn't need someone physically there with me and I think I maybe came out of it a little bit better because of that Uh, so you know thanks to my Irish twin you know (laughs) (laughs) for you know getting me battle tested for COVID yeah that's amazing yeah i agree i kind of agree it's like <clears throat> slowing it everything is slowing down and just kind of not not feeling like you needed to be somewhere whether yeah. it was like you know work related or even like socially like you know you have those things like well i don't feel like going out tonight but if i don't go out then you know yep they might do something fun without me and then i'll be you know like you're I'll, missing out you're missing out. yeah it's like not having to stress about that and just, you know, and then realizing that, yeah, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Like, yeah. you know, did you work from home a lot or, or did you, I mean, I did it. And that was the other thing too. It's like, I work, I pretty much like more or less like live in the office, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. my, I have like long days, like, you know, nine to, uh, it's pretty much nine to six, but you know, it then plus travel time. So, you know, I'm gone like out of the apartment for like, all you know most of the day okay so it's like I was kind of like if I felt like I was paying rent on this place but not even like <laughs> being in it so yes yeah, so I got to move to work from home and it's been like the greatest experience of my life it's like yeah. I've been waiting my entire life for this and yeah it's like I've just I've, I got like two promotions and I'm like you know because I've been doing so much better yeah. you know productive wise like being home and they, to the point where they like pulled me aside on a zoom and they're like, they're like, you're doing really good. Like what's changed. I was like, I was like, I don't like need to be in, around any of you. Yeah, <laughs> you know? I have to be there. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully what about you? Have you been able to, work? I was, yeah, I was working from home every day except for, um, I had to go into an office. I just moved, uh, to California like two months ago. So before oh, nice. I was in Michigan and I had to drive like a hundred miles to my work site, like every two weeks for like two days. Oh, nice. um, but other than that, I was at home for, you know, most of the year and I got a, I got a dog. And so now she's a COVID dog. So she doesn't understand now that I'm here, yeah. I'm going to work three days a week. She's so confused. Um, and so I take her to daycare and that like kind of helps like her 
like not be like anxious about me being away. Yeah. But like when I first started like adventuring out and like going back to the gyms when gyms kind of opened back and like, you know, things kind of opened back, we were both very anxious. She was anxious that I was gone and I was anxious that she was home alone. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like we we had to get used to being back in society. Um, and, and by we, I mean me, cause she never, she was seven weeks old during COVID. Um, uh, you know, she, so she, know yeah, so she didn't know about like, I go to work, I do things. Um, so now I, I pay an absorbent amount for daycare to, for both uh, of us to keep her from being anxious and for me to not feel bad about her being home alone. So it's, uh, it works out, but I think, you know, pluses and minuses of COVID. Um, yeah, that's the one thing I'm not looking forward to if I have to go back. Because I have a dog, too. He's a senior dog. He's, like, over 12. Okay. And, you know, he's starting to slow down. So being being able to, like, be around him for this past year has been, like, probably great for him yeah. and me. Because he's, like, just chill and everything. Just spend time with me. So I'm starting to get a little kind of anxious about going back and and leaving him and getting a walker and then or bring him to daycare because daycare is like he used to go a lot when he was younger but he does, he's, he's old now so he can't really like yeah <laughs> you know so here's for younger dogs it's not yeah so i don't know i mean if you know i think they have like you know if they have older dogs there they like separate them and keep them around more humans than dogs or something but um, yeah we'll see that's like one thing too that you know, it's going to be interesting. At this point in the date, I jumped in to let them know that their date had ended and let them say their farewells. Listening to Joe and Mel chat about traveling and sitting in cafes in Paris and Italy has me feeling some serious wanderlust. I'm usually a plan a trip ahead kind of person, but COVID has definitely taught me to slow down and appreciate the little things. Do you think Joe and Mel will meet up at a cafe to people watch, pups in tow? Tune in to the end of the season to find out. That's all we've got for you today. Shoot us a message on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at the blink date or at date in a blink to let us know what you think. If you want to sign up to participate in date in a blink, visit our website at www.theblinkdate.com. In the meantime, thanks for joining us for this episode. We hope you enjoyed listening and look forward to talking with you again next time. Thank you.